All right, guys, what is up? So we've got the Avanti AV200 here. This is a HVLP sprayer that I unboxed on live a couple days ago. And this is the first time I'm gonna try it. So I'm gonna show you guys how to set it up, how to get it going, and we're gonna give it a try and see what the results are on this first try, what I think after using it one time. We're spraying water-based poly. I'm gonna water it down a little bit and make it a little bit thinner to go through this. And we'll see how it performs. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, guys, so we're spraying some little pantry drawers that we made. This will be on another video, but we're going to set it up first. So we have, it comes with two. This is our extra. We're just going to set that aside over here. Plug it in. All right, plugged in. Take our hose. All right, and it has on the hose. Either side can go on the gun, either side can go on the actual machine, and it has the little arrows to let you know where it goes. You just line it up with this arrow. And then you turn it until it locks. You can see right there, it locked. And then we'll do the same with the rest of the hose and put it on the gun. All right, and so this part just goes, same thing, it has an arrow right here and an arrow right here that you match in the unlock position and then you turn it to lock it and that's it, should be ready to go. Then you can adjust your spray pattern. Um, so we want it to spray up and down, so we're gonna turn that a little bit and then you can adjust how much, we're gonna start off low and then work our way up and see if we need more. Oh, you also have your pressure control right here. Turn it on by pushing the button down. We're gonna start. That's ready to go. And I am using, this is the fine finish. It has the little uh, bronze or whatever copper. This is the fine finish for like stains and stuff like that. So that's the one I'm using. All right, so we're gonna water this down. We're gonna go by milliliters, we're gonna do 500 milliliters and then we'll put like an extra 50 in there to water it down to 10%. Alright, 500. I've got some water here. And it does come with this little viscosity meter thing. So you dip this in whatever you're gonna spray. And then if you're using, I'm using the one millimeter, it should take less than 50 seconds for it to go through. Um, otherwise it's too thick for the machine. So we're gonna try that out. So I'm gonna set up a timer here. Got it here, dip it, pull it out, and then you see how long it takes. Ready? Set. Got 10 seconds to get done. Yup. Alright guys. So according to this, it's still a little too thick for the machine. So I'll probably pour a little bit more water in here, mix it, and we'll try it again. We're still going. This should take under 50 seconds for it all to clear out. Alright, since we know it's already over. To myself, just me lately. I don't need a lot. I don't need a lot. No, just me and the fan, two friends, same plan. I don't speak a lot. And I, and I, and I can't stop. Can't stop. And I, and I, and I can't stop. Can't stop. And I, and I, and I can't stop. Oh, and I, and I, and I can't stop. Still a tiny bit more than you want, about five seconds. So, still a little thick. Alright, there it is. So, I think we're good to go this time. Go 
ahead and run it like that. All right, that's it then. We're gonna, this is your little siphon cup. You gotta make sure to lock your uh, trigger and then we'll screw this on. And let's try it. This is a scrap piece, so we're just gonna try it and see how it turns out. Alright guys, so we're having a hard time priming. Alright, I did forget to put these on when I... Never mind, they're just extras. So it's coming out the top. Maybe that's the problem, I didn't screw it on there right. Let me grab a rag. All right guys, so keeping it 100 with you guys. This is the first time I use this, so. Yeah, it looks like I didn't screw this on tight enough or right. So. There we go, yeah, it wasn't screwed on right. So that's probably why it wasn't priming easily. All right, it's on there now. Let's try it again. Third time's the charm. Alright, first impressions, it sprays smooth, uh, it's got good coverage, uh, I did have one little thick fleck that it, little thing that's dripping, this is a sample one guys, so don't worry about that big gap, but uh, it sprayed pretty evenly, I can see the even coat, um, it felt smooth, uh, yeah, let me get one of the actual ones and we'll try it again. Alright guys, so we sprayed two quick coats, but I'm going to go ahead and take this off, cover it, and then go uh, wash this. I don't want it to dry in there because it's a poly. Alright, so we took the container that holds the paint off, we took the hose off back here, then you just unlock this somehow, ah, there you go, and then you just turn it and the trigger comes off so you don't need to wash anything. Everything that you need to wash is right here and then your container. So I'm gonna take this inside and wash it. Okay, yeah, so you can take this front part off. You have your screw cap, the 
little front part and then oh yeah so you do want to take this off i can see a lot of that stuff in there still it's a copper needle so gently all right and i think we got everything out of it all right so we're gonna let the drawers dry and then we'll come back and check the finish on them uh, i know it's gonna need another coat but not bad let me i wrote some things down all right so the pros price 149 is not bad if it you know for a homeowner or somebody that doesn't do a lot of projects just does stuff around the house um you do cabinets or you do like cabinet refinishing or like small dressers and stuff like that it's not bad i think it would be good depending on the durability which we'll we'll, we'll have to see but from my first test um, it looks like it works well uh it was smooth the spraying was smooth i didn't have a lot of splatter um it's mobile so i like that the little part right here moves with you because i moved around i had to pull it and then the little wheels you know just followed me around um i like that i like the colors i like this thing you can set your gun in there and it'll hold it for you so you don't have to worry about it flipping over with the hose and stuff what i don't like uh main thing that i don't like is it's super loud it sounds like you're running a shot back that was the main thing that i noticed uh when i was flipping the cup i was tilting it and stuff trying to use it at different angles so it did do well sideways and upside down i didn't have any issues with it not spraying that direction but when i did tilt it forward it did start to drip from the can after a little bit from the container that holds the paint it started to drip a little bit um, what else it's all plastic so that there's the durability thing about it is that it's all plastic not sure how well it's going to hold up if you're one of those people that's not going to use it a lot a couple times a year then it should be good if you're going to try to use this every day i don't know how it would hold up we're going to try it we're going to use it on a couple jobs but i don't think it would hold up in a, one of our paint bands um, for long just because it's plastic i think for stuff like this that i'm doing um small projects uh i got some little furniture things back there that i want to paint i think it'll be good for that and for cabinets like if you're someone that likes to paint your cabinets or has rentals and you want to do some cabinets i think it might work we did spray water-based poly so it's a little bit thicker we had to cut it down um, what else did i not like the hose is kind of short so it's not the same as spraying with a like an airless sprayer with the fine finish but the the finish the way it was coming out it did resemble a fine finish airless sprayer we spray with the graco 390 and with the fine finish tips and it you know it felt like that um, i've only sprayed with an hvlp a couple times and i had issues with it with the compressor and stuff like that so for me being someone that doesn't paint often with an hvlp i think it did well it was easy to set up easy to clean up um it took me about maybe five ten minutes to get it all washed up hopefully we don't have issues with that in the future but so far i mean for the price 149 dollars i think you know it'll be good for someone that's going to use it around the house for smaller projects i think it, it'll work we're going to run it through the through the grindstone or i don't know what the expression is but we're going to run it down <laughs> we're going to take it out on jobs and we're going to see how, how it worked and then i'll let you guys know in a few months how it's holding up if it's done any big jobs and what goes on so we did get the extended warranty on this you get 90 days when you buy it from harbor freight and then we also did a one-year warranty in case it breaks within that year then we can just get a replacement and keep it for around the house but like i said we are gonna we are gonna test it out on a few jobs and a few different things this the anthem if you rock it with it put your hands up yeah this the anthem if you get up and get it put your hands up yeah Give you my word, that's what I stand on. Loyalty and trust is what I stand on. Family and love is what I stand on. Talking big, big. I knew that one day that I could make it big, big. I'm talking how to stay smoking without a CZ. Now we get up and do it like we got a big rig. It's getting serious. I know you're curious. To some losses through the process, I'm furious. But I got Alright, one thing, guys. If they had made this level, I don't know if this will come off. It looks 
like it might snap off I don't want to do it right now while I'm working with it but it, if it does come off then something level to where you can set it and it's level right now if I try to set it on a table it's a little off level and it might tip over to the side um, so that's why the little container in the machine is cool you can hold it in there but if this does come off if they had just made this bottom a little bit wider to kind of support it when you set it down that'd be awesome because once you get that hose on here it's kind of hard to keep it upright all right so i got a little drippage on the first one that was before i adjusted my what was coming out of it uh the second coat you're, you're able to see it a lot more so it's gonna look good i think uh, it sprays really smooth it feels really smooth the little hose is a little bit cumbersome because it's kind of thick but overall man for a hundred and forty nine dollar machine to some losses to the process at me furious but i got eyes on the vision can't get delirious fall in love with the game and then you